Hey guys, this is Xavier Hocking for HackingSAP.com. And last Friday we had some big news in the SAP BI community as Lumera 2.1 was finally made general available. And this is the first major release since the initial release last summer. So in the time in between we only saw, saw a few service packs and most of the time service packs only include fixes and no new features. We have now the 2.1 version of Lumero Discovery installed on our system. So it's time to have a look at what this new version brings. So the first new item that we see in Lumero Discovery 2.1 is called Linked Analysis. And Linked Analysis means that we can now uh, link two charts or even more charts with each other. And by that I mean that you can use one chart to filter the other ones. So how can we do that? Let's expand this context menu for this bar chart here. We now have a new option here called linked analysis of course. So if I open this, I can select a dimension that I want to use the filter on. Well in this case my chart only has the country as a dimension. So let's select that. And with the second selection box, I can determine which other charts should be influenced by the selections that I make in my main chart. So let's select both of them and click OK. There we go. So we now set up the linked analysis. Let's go to the preview mode and check this feature out. If I select, for example, Italy, then you'll see that the other two charts are filtered and here in the cross tab you can clearly see that we now have a selection on Italy as the only cities are Milan and Rome. I can also make multiple selections using the lasso like this and now you'll see that we have six countries selected in here. So this is a very cool feature uh, that's added to Lumero Discovery 2.1. Before this, we had to go back to Lumero Designer and add some scripting to make this happen. Now it is included in the tool. We already saw this in SAP Analytics Cloud, so I'm happy to see that features from the cloud are coming back to the on-premise tools as well. And later on, we'll, we'll see a, a second feature that has been added that also was available on the cloud solution first. So next to linked analysis, we have now the option to filter on measures. So up until now, we were able to filter on dimensions by just right clicking here and using filter or using the filter bar. But as you can see now, next to the dimensions, we also see all the measures in our filter selection screen. And this basically works the same as conditions in BW. So let's say we pick out the sales revenue. Here we can say on which dimensions we want to apply this filter. So for now, we'll keep that on all and I'll create a filter that only shows me values that are bigger than 5 million. Uh, yep. Like this. So you see the table is now filtered. Also a new filter has been added to the filter bar on top. And we only see the values that have a sales revenue of 5 million or bigger. Let's edit our filter and let's see what happens if we base this not only on uh, all the dimensions, but we base it on, for example, country. Okay. Yeah, so now we see more values than before. And that's because this 5 million threshold is for the total value for the, for the country. So as you can see, France has in total more than 5 million in sales revenue. And therefore all the cities 
that are in France are included in, included in this crop and cross tab. Let's stay with the cross tab for a second. Another addition in uh, 2.1 is that the export to PDF has been improved for cross tabs. So if we click this export to PDF button here, we now have a new feature called show, uh, show cross tabs in the appendix. Here I can select which cross tabs I want to show in the appendix, like this. Click done to start the export. So what now will happen is that we not only see a screenshot of the story that we have on the screen right now, but we will also see in the PDF an additional page that is made up of the total um, the total cross tab. So not only the part that we see, but all the values. So let's open that PDF to see how that looks like. So the first page, that's just a screenshot of the story. And then in the appendix, we have the full table with all the entries uh, included in this PDF. So that's really a nice addition in uh, Lumira Discovery 2.1. Yes, very small uh, new option is the, the formatting that we can do on imp insert controls, input controls. So for example, if I create an input control on country, let's use the drop down option. Okay, so here it is. So what we now can do, if we um, go to the context menu, we now have two additional options, format header and format body. And with this, we can change the formatting of the texts within this component. So that's really a small adjustment that has been made. But it could be uh, very nice if you do such changes throughout your whole uh, story, story, for example, by uh, adjusting these uh, titles of each chart, then you also want your input controls to look in the same way. So with this formatting header and format body option, you can uh, finally do that. Then let's go back to the charts. Um, yeah, this is another feature coming from SAP Analytics Cloud. Let's maximize this chart for a second. If I now right click in the chart area, we see two additional options here. The first one is enable ad hoc data comparison and the other one is add trend line. So let's first enable this ad hoc data comparison option. So what we can do now is we can select a base value. And if we then hoover with the mouse the other values in the chart, we would see stuff happening here. So now we see a green line, a percentage and uh, a number. And this all is about the differences between, in this case, the USA and uh, Brazil. So we see the difference in the percentage and the difference in the value. And if I go to smaller values, then we'll see instead of the green uh, horizontal line, we see a red horizontal line. If I hold control and I click, then it holds the value that I selected and I can select additional values as well. Like this. So this is a very cool way to interact with your charts. In addition, you can also select multiple values with the lasso, uh, for example, like this. Then a pop-up appears, which gives a summary of what you just selected. So you see here the, the amount of values that you selected. You see a chart with a line that uh, shows the average value, a summary of some uh, other values like um, the sum or the min and the max values. And if we go to the second page, then it also gives a nice tag cloud with the values that we just selected.
yeah so for the final uh, ad addition in Lumero 2.1 for discovery we'll go to this uh, trend chart and what we can do here is add a trend line within this chart so Lumero discover will calculate itself a trend line as you can see or in this case it's the blue line the blue dotted line which goes through all the other values and what we also can do here is we can edit this trend line and we can uh, show a forward for a couple of periods so let's say I want to see this for uh, like six more periods well let's maybe a bit small because we're looking at days here so let's make that uh, 180 days then you see the trend line just continues so this is probably a nice first step into bringing back the predictive features that we saw in Lumero 1.31 so I think that's that's it for the Lumero Discovery client tool. Of course, on the BI platform, we have some more cool new features uh, regarding discovery. Uh, for example, uh, we can now make, uh, create new discovery documents on the BI platform and uh, based on BW Live Connections, in addition to the HANA Live Connections that were already possible. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to check that out because our platform still needs to be updated. So that's maybe something for a next video. But for now, have fun with Lumero Discovery 2.1 and see you later. Bye bye.